Queensland, but trust and perceptions of safety are well down in its police force, according to its own annual report. Our investigations reporter Jonathan Lee has taken a closer look at what's shaping community concerns. This Queensland election is being framed around law and order, perhaps like no other in recent memory. The state's annual police report was recently tabled to Parliament. Its data shows a community where many feel frustrated and angry. The force's annual report is intended to provide transparency and accountability. Its key performance measures reveal a service struggling to meet targets and improve on last year's already concerning results. Raw data shows crime victims have increased. The Queensland Police Service identifies a target goal of fewer than 12 victims per 1,000 people for so-called personal offences. But the number has now climbed to 15. Terry Goldsworthy is a criminologist. Well, that just reflects that the uh, crime rate's going up. Last year was a 20-year high, so I'm not surprised at all. It's also taking detectives longer to solve cases. Homicides, assaults and personal safety incidences resolved inside 30 days was slower than last year. On 74% of occasions, police attended the most important emergencies inside 12 minutes. That's also marginally slower than last year and down on its target of 80% inside 12 minutes. Worryingly, just 56% of respondents believe Queensland police to be honest. That's a notable fall on last year of 66%. Rates of complaints have risen, while in society, more than 70% don't feel safe alone on public transport at night. More than 50% don't feel safe on their own after dark in the suburbs. That's well down on the previous year. The double whammy that the perceptions, I think, are accurate of what's occurred in society. The Queensland Police Service is actively recruiting to plug shortfalls and improve results, but those who put their lives on the line know trust deficits are harder to fix. Okay, 